I think it's time. Yes, it's time to bring, to bring, to bring history back to life. Cool, it's amazing. Cream of Cats TV. If you like old movies, then please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the like button to preserve our movie heritage for future generations. Hello YouTube. Okay, some of you might be wondering what these cars are, especially if you haven't seen any of my videos before. Uh, well, they have origins dating back to 18th century tradesmen's cars, and those evolved into beautifully illustrated Victorian trade cars that companies gave away with their products, including chocolate, tea, soap, and commonly cigarettes. Firms fiercely competed against each other in producing card subjects that would appeal to their information starved customers. Unwittingly providing us with one of the finest pictorial records of the fashion trends and interests of the ordinary people in the early 20th century. Here we have an original card set of glamorous beauties from around the world that was issued more than 80 years ago in 1928 by Nicholas Soroni. Uh, the title of the set is National Types of Beauties. Of course, as you can imagine, the beauty choices are obviously biased towards the views of the person who put the set together and the society as a whole at the time. Perhaps explaining the lack of African women featured if you want to know firsthand what was really fashionable and in at the height of the exciting roaring 20s, then cards like these are unsurpassable and are great for artistic inspiration. Especially when there's a bit of a 1920s revival currently going on at the moment with the uh, modern day silent movie The Artist scooping lots of Oscars and the upcoming series three of Downton Abbey set in the early 1920s and the latest blockbuster movie adaption of The Great Gatsby coming out shortly starring none other than Leonardo DiCaprio the ladies favourite from the Titanic of period productions many of the ladies featured on these cards like anime Wong pictured here were movie idols and fashion icons themselves from the legendary silence era. Tragically, nearly 80% of all the original early movie reels have long since crumbled away and were only supposed to last about 20 years anyway at the time, so it's a bit of a miracle that any of them have survived this long. It's slightly ironic that this relatively simple form of mass media Yes, these uh, cigarette cards that we're currently reviewing today have outlasted many of those silent movies that these beauties would have appeared in, despite the fact that moving pictures would have been considered the latest technology at that time. That just makes you think about our current technology today in our fickle, throwaway consumerist society. As reality is being replaced by ones and zeros, the mass media we have today might be uh, more fast paced, thrilling, exciting and engaging in the short term. But this much more simplistic photographic predecessor easily outperforms it in the longevity stakes. The early fashion icons featured on these cars helped lay the foundations to our consumerist society and the age of the celebrity that we know so well today from trashy reality TV shows and the uh, current wave in pop idol clones. 1920s cinema goers desperately tried to mimic and emulate their movie idols, their clothes, mannerisms and technology they used. Everyone loves to keep up with the Joneses, don't they? Not much has changed then. People today look up to uh, celebrities and movie idols. Advertisers exploit this phenomenon. 
uh, with clever products associations and placements. So what happens when the mass media starts having a love affair with the past like it is now? Well, Gucci and Ralph Lauren have already jumped on the uh, bandwagon, including uh, strong elements of the 1920s styles in their recent fashion shows. It's interesting seeing how popular culture and the mass media are inextricably linked, continuously feeding off each other. The media corporations have an incredible amount of power and can massively influence public opinion and can potentially even pick who rules the country. Of course, the old media corporations have recently taken a right battering with the arrival of social media. With YouTube, in theory, you have the power of a television station, newspaper and music studio rolled into one in your bedroom. It's exciting to think that me and you aren't just passive passengers anymore. We can also actively take part in the show itself, shaping our culture and future. Please feel free to check out the largest collection of videos of the earliest movie tree cards in the world on my channel. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to come along to my car museum at creamofcards.com. Oh no, I'm afraid we've run out of time. But just before you go, please leave thumbs up below. And if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this, subscribe to the track. By clicking on the icon, up in the sky, a Creole Cards TV.